Okay, so today what we're going to talk about is feeding your birds and a bird feeder that I found recently that I think is interesting. This is an Audubon squirrel proof feeder, but this is another Audubon feeder that holds 10 pounds of bird seed. It's all plastic and it's called the gazebo feeder. And I'm going to show you how to set it up so that you can protect it. Look at the roof line compared to the base of this. Rain will hit the bottom of it. It's a deluxe gazebo feeder. It's being sold by Audubon, but it's actually made by a company called Woodlink. So you may see it uh, sold by other places. Now, this is the top that you open to put the feed in. It's actually too small in my opinion. It needs to be much larger. Notice also there's screws around. You can disassemble this thing. Uh, it has lots of holes in the bottom for drainage. Very important if you have any kind of bird feeder out in the element, elements so that your feed doesn't get messed up and uh, moldy look in through the top here and there's a wire that comes attached with it you can hang uh, the feeder on your branches with plenty long for that again this is just a it's a plastic feeder in my opinion this thing's actually a little overpriced but i'm going to go over how i'm going to put it up and how i'm going to use it when you hang it of course on a tree branch leave plenty of room above it so that that opening can raise up and you can fill it with feed and this is the other part. This is what I'm adding to protect it both from the weather, from squirrels, and in my case, raccoons that like to raid my feeders at night. This is Squirrel Guard, and it's made by Predator Guard. You may have seen me use their other stuff, like flashing lights in, in my apiary that are predator protection. I also use their Pest Away unit, which is a flashing light and an ultrasound deal that keeps predators away from anything you want to protect. This thing is 17 inches in diameter, so it's plenty large to completely protect the feeder from both rain, snow, and everything else that otherwise would just get right into it. So it improves the function of this gazebo feeder. These are the components of the squirrel guard that comes from Predator Guard. I'm just gonna put it together really quick. It does have really good instructions that come with it. You can post mount it here. The post is designed for is a one inch diameter which matches perfectly with the Audubon style feeder. Uh, but I don't use that. I'm gonna hang them from tree branches. So this is the hardware that's included. Everything's pretty simple, but I'm gonna show you how to put it together anyway. A couple of washers. And uh, this is the post mount bracket again. Now that thing is designed so that when you set your squirrel guard on it, it's not rigid, it's supposed to tip a little and give a little and that way when a squirrel or something climbs on it, they lose their balance and fall off. They can't use it as a springboard to go up onto your feeder. And the hardware's pretty good, galvanized. Got these locking nuts on here. You wanna tighten those up good because remember your unit's gonna be blowing around uh, in the wind and the weather. You don't want it to unscrew and just drop your feeder to the ground. I know you probably know how to put this thing together, but I'm just going to put it together for you real quick here. Save your reading the instructions, maybe. It's plenty strong, so it would hold a nice, heavy, even metal feeder. Um, I don't see any problems with the way it's built here. Again, it's designed not to be rigid. It's supposed to move around a little bit so that uh, predators and foragers that are trying to get into your feeder other than the birds would have a hard time getting their balance. So it looks pretty good to me. Nice powder coat, nice heavy galvanized steel piece. Now this long wire that comes with it, you want to cut it off because you're going to have to make a loop to hook your squirrel guard onto it. But uh, also leave enough space. Remember, you have to slide this top up and down in order to fill the feeder. And look at the mess I've made around the feeder just because I use a big bag of black oil sunflower seed and it just went everywhere. So there's some room for improvement in the way you fill these feeders. Just made my loop in the top there. Hang it on the hook and it's pretty much good to go. When they say 10 pounds of feed in this thing, I think they are talking about the mix seed. Black oil sunflower seed is not that heavy. And of course, all the 
feed that I've spilled is just laying out here on my table at the edge of the woods and I'll just let the chipmunks and whatever come and clear that up. When you do feed the birds, you do increase the population of your native songbirds in the area. So if you start feeding, you're creating somewhat of a dependency. Continue to feed, especially in winter time. And here it is hanging in a walnut tree. Off to the right on the edge there, you see my also Audubon squirrel proof feeder. And what I missed and really wish that I had caught for you was two nights after these feeders were hung up like this, a raccoon came down and completely pulled the feeder to the right out of the tree. It bent the brackets that supported it and it was all on the ground. But this feeder um, was protected by the squirrel guard and the raccoon did not defeat that system and could not get this feeder onto the ground. So that was a great success. So I hope you like the feeder. I do. I think it's pretty cool as long as you use a squirrel guard or something else to shelter it. I hope you watch other videos in the future and thanks for watching this one. Happy bird feeding.